And what's happening guys, this is 8 of 100 for the 100 days of YouTube. Today we are going to call this one how to turn the lights on and off. The better title will pop up now. So we're going to go straight into it this time, um, as usual. This one's going to be fairly simple, uh, quite a quick video, but very, very useful um, for any, any uh, type of situation, whether it's photo editing, photo manipulation, any of that stuff, even just for like music artwork or any of that sort, you'll see what I mean. So we're going to use two different images today. First one will be a very simple, straight on image of a building. And we are going to figure out how to turn the lights off because there are too many lights, too many lights. And this is very, very simple. Rectangular marquee tool. We've got loads of lights that are off. I'm going to zoom in, find the one like this, which is practically all off. Put the feather on like four and literally let's go to let's go to this one actually slightly ahead of it get a little padding around this rectangle just draw over it and then control windows command and mac command c and command v and there we have our dark room and i just hold shift to go upwards you just match it in and i'm going to fast forward this bit and make the whole thing practically dark. Just a stop, you don't want all the lights to look all the same, so you know use your imagination a bit more. Find other rooms here that are dark, like this one. Some you don't want to give that the same effect like if it's been completely copy and pasted. So we can find another room and do the exact same thing. Let me fast forward. All right, uh, now we're like halfway through this image. All you want to do, just to speed things up, where you've got all your layers, just find some that are in a similar row, like so. This one, that one, that one. Select those three, shift select, command E, merge it, put it to the top and just call it dark room three, one. And you'll find another row, you can also auto select just so you can get all the layers quicker. We've got this one, that one, and that one. They're all on the same. Shift select them, command E, bring those to the top as well. Let's do dark room three, two. Now you have two different versions of dark rooms that you can just keep merging across in threes, upwards, oops, upwards. Get rid of that auto select now. Let's move it up. Oh, so you even got it like this. Just do it like so. And I'll speed this up and complete the whole. All right, now all you want to do is shift select from the top layer all the way to the bottom, command E, and then you have all your dark rooms. I have not done all of the rooms dark because in real, real life, it's not all going to be a blackout, but you want to make it look like some rooms are darker. So let me just show you the before and after, even if you zoom out, see a complete difference. In fact, that looks like the real one, if anything now. So that's version one. And in fact, you know what I'll do on video nine of 100, I'm going to turn the lights on on a separate image with a perspective, which is a bit more difficult, but I'll find, I'll find a way to make it simple. So I hope you like this video. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe. And the next video will be up straight away.